Hey everybody, Eric here. And today I wanna to share with you how to use and create custom keyboard shortcuts in order to speed up your workflow here in SketchUp. So if you're not already doing it, using keyboard shortcuts is a great way to be efficient while modeling. What it does is it frees up just that uh, split second that it takes to find an icon or a tool from a drop-down menu, and it allows you to do it instantly by just tapping a key where your hands are naturally resting anyway. So there's a couple different ways to do that. Um, we're gonna go over both using default shortcuts, so ones that are already there for our basic drawing tools, but also how to take it a step further and create your own custom shortcuts. And of course, I'm going to share with you my favorite ones and why. So let's get to it. So here I am in SketchUp. I've got my, you can see my hand here, which is going to rest on the left side of my keyboard. We're going to use that in just a second. I've also got on the screen, you can see when I type a key, it shows up on the screen. So not only are you seeing what I'm doing with my hands, but you can see how it shows up on the screen. So. First thing I want to do before I get rid of our trusty little toolbar here, I want to show you that if you don't already know about keyboard shortcuts, if you hover over one, like for example, the circle tool, it says C for circle. And then if you come over here and you hover over one, uh, you might see E for erase. So for example, if you're used to just finding the circle tool and clicking on it, there you go, there's your circle. Now the same way you can do that, hover over it, it says C, that's telling you that's C on the keyboard. So C, there's my circle, and there you go. Of course, if you've once you've memorized all the basic ones, you can use go beyond C and go over to P for push pull, F for offset, P for push pull again, select everything, and then command or control G for group, and there you go. You can see I've got a little fireplace for my deck. And that was done without looking for any tools at all. So let's go ahead and just get rid of, for now, let's just get rid of that toolbar. I'm gonna, I just left that up so that you could see that if you're not sure already what the keyboard shortcuts are, you can go ahead and just hover over any of these and it will tell you what they are. So don't need that, I'm gonna delete that. Um, yeah, so let's close that out. So let's talk about some of these other keyboard shortcuts. Those are the default ones. So your basic tools uh, are the drawing tools like L for line. Most of those make sense. And so I'm not going to cover those. Those are pretty basic, but I do want to look at some other ones really quick and why. Why are these ones my favorite? I've put a little shortcut list in case I forget here off to the side. So the first one I want to look at is paste in place. So if you know here that you've got something like I've got this lady here, I can copy and paste but by default, the paste function pastes at the cursor. Oftentimes I want to copy and then maybe I want to delete and I want to go inside of a group and I want to paste her, but I want to paste her not over here and I have to place her, but I want to paste her exactly in the same place. Now, normally I would come up here and go up and go edit paste in place, but that just takes a little, it takes my attention away from what I'm doing. So I have a keyboard shortcut, which is instead of command or control V for paste, it's shift V. So that's paste in place. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm going to delete her, get out of that group, shift V, paste her right back in place where she was. Now I like that, I use that a lot. It's one of my favorites, paste in place. And we're gonna look at uh, in a second how to create your own keyboard shortcuts. We'll wrap up by actually creating some new ones together in case you're not sure how to do that. But let me show you a few more helpful ones and before we, um, before we wrap up that way. Uh, the other thing is hide. Now, I you can right click and say hide, uh, or you can set a keyboard shortcut for it. So I tend to not use keyboard shortcuts for things that I can get on the right click menu. So there was a, a time where I actually had hide as a keyboard shortcut, but I find that if it's in the right click menu, it's just as fast for me to do it that way. So I did want to point out that hide uh, is actually in the right click. So to me, you could set a shortcut for it, or you know, you can go ahead and hide it that way. We're gonna have to unhide her in just a second, but we'll get there. We're gonna go down the list. So looking around, um, you can see I'm navigating the model by orbiting, but sometimes I want to like hold that viewpoint, but I want to be able to see the top of my cabin. So I'm gonna hit Shift E, and Shift E is because I think of it as an eyeball. So E makes me it easy for me to remember that. If I want to use my eye to look around, I can hit Shift E and what it does is it locks that camera position. And so when I move my mouse, I'm just uh, 
I'm just looking around from that viewpoint. So that's pretty cool. Why shift? It's because E has already been taken by the eraser tool. So if I just hit E, that's erase. I don't want to do that. I hit shift E and that shift just reminds me that that's a custom keyboard shortcut that I'm setting up. So that one's really helpful. Zoom extents. So speaking of looking around, sometimes I'm in my model and I'm, you know, doing something like a little edit down here to this glass and I get stuck and I get, I don't know where I am. I'm inside of the model or I'm inside of a wall. And I just kind of, instead of backing all the way out, I can just hit shift Z and that's zoom extents. So that's zoom, zooming, zooming all the way out to the extent of the model. So another one that I like to do is adding scenes. Shouldn't be that difficult. Now, if you have your scenes panel up, you can open up the scenes panel and add one that way. But if you have no scenes, like I have no scenes here, so I don't really want to go window, scenes, add a new scene. In this case, I have a keyboard shortcut for adding scenes. So just shift A, and that's so I can remember shift add a scene. So there's my scene. There it is. And if I want to do another one, I can rotate around and shift A, rotate around, shift A. It's just a really fast way to add scenes is by using keyboard shortcuts. And there they are. They're all there. That's pretty cool. So the next one on my list is hidden geometry that I use all the time. So oftentimes, especially when you're working with curved surfaces and things where the faces are hidden, for example, uh, if I go and look at these chairs, if I wanted to select something or delete a line or hide a line, sometimes it's difficult. So what I'll hit is J on the keyboard. There's no shift on that one because if you think uh, SketchUp's default shortcut for showing back edges is K, so if you wanted to see back edges, you could hit K. Um, so I just thought, well, if I'm going to show my hidden edges, I'm just going to do that next to K, which is J. So I'm seeing my hidden geometry and that looks good. So I'm actually happy with those. I'll just turn that off. Hit J again. So J is cool because it toggles hidden geometry both on and off. So that's hidden geometry. Speaking of hidden geometry, you know, it's similar to hidden geometry, but it's hidden objects. Like if I went in here, speaking of hidden objects, I have I have a woman here that I hid, my scale figure. So if I turn my hidden geometry on, you can see she doesn't show up. She's a group, so she's an object. So I have N here, don't know why, N is random. Just That's what I just assigned was N for hidden objects. Maybe it was hidden, you know, N. And then I can come over here and right click and say unhide. So there she is, so she's back. So that's pretty cool. So hidden objects is N, hidden geometry is J. Maybe if you spell geometry wrong, that's why I use J. So that's that one. So that takes me to section planes. And this was a relatively new one for me. I used to always come up here and go tools and I come over section plane and then I go view and I say show section planes and then I go view, show a cut. That took me a little while. So instead I just, whenever I have a section, I just shift T and shift T for me says toggle. I wanna toggle my section plane on. So there it is, it's inside of my group. And then when I wanna show the section, I would hit Shift S. So Shift S shows the section. So that's, that's why I did an S. And that's really cool because while I'm modeling, I can always just be turning, turning both the plane on or off. If I wanted to view the plane, I could show it or not show it. And then if I wanted to show the section, I could show it or not show it using just keyboard shortcuts. And that one is really one that I picked up recently and I think has really helped me quite a bit. I really actually enjoy working with, um, I didn't mean to move my whole section. I'm going to go inside my group. There we go. So I can toggle that, turn the plane off, see how that looks. And that looks good. So I'll go ahead and turn that section off. So anyway, yeah, that one's been tremendously helpful for me. So let's see here. That takes us pretty much to my last one. Now there's always more to add. There's always tons. Everyone's got their own way of working. So remember, this is just kind of a starting list of things that I find useful for me. But um, another one is X-Ray style. I've been, this is a new one for me. I do use X-Ray a lot. So I hit X on my keyboard shortcut and that's gonna get me X-Ray. Now that's not too difficult to come up here to my toolbar where I could just click the face style myself. But again, it's just, I'm just trying to push myself to use keyboard shortcuts more and more and more. So you'll notice when I'm modeling now, when I model, I pretty much don't use any of the tools from the large tool palette. And other than sometimes where I will, you know, pick a standard view or change my face style, I'll still use those from the tool palette 
Um, but for the most part, those ones are actually not too difficult for me to get rid of. If I wanted to get rid of using those, I can do standard views. I can shift my camera if I wanted to go to parallel projection. I could switch between perspective and parallel projection if I wanted to add a keyboard shortcut for that and flip through my standard views. So that's really cool. Um, there's really just almost nothing that you can't turn into a keyboard shortcut. So speaking of turning it into, let's wrap up by coming over here to preferences. Hopefully you've stayed with me this long under shortcuts, which is third from the bottom in your preferences. You can just type something in here. So if I wanted to say face style, uh, let's see, I wanted to create a sh shortcut for hidden line style. So this would be a toggling on the hidden line face style. So I might come over here and go sh shift H. It says, actually, uh, you've already assigned shift H to, um, it's an extension, which is hiding edges. Well, I can decide whether I want to keep that for the original shortcut that I created or say, no, nah, I don't really use that one very often. I'm going to replace that one. So let's replace that. So when I'm in my model, I've got a new shortcut, shift H, and that's hidden line style. So again, I don't even need to come up here and go view, face style. Uh, I don't even know where face style is anymore. There it is, because I don't use it. And I'm hidden line. You can see I'm toggling between my hidden line. So that is super, super, super cool. And I just love keyboard shortcuts. I really hope that, um, I really hope that this was useful. So that's it. I encourage everyone, this is maybe not something for beginners. If you're just starting with SketchUp, go over to SketchUp Campus, learn the basic tools first. Um, but as soon as you kind of understand the layout, how SketchUp works, go right into starting with keyboard shortcuts. Trust me, it's going to save a lot of time. Not only that, but it's just, uh, for me, it's just a more fun way to use SketchUp. And um, yeah, it's just common, it's just uh, second nature now. So I'll leave you there. I'll say thanks as always. Let me know. I would love to keep this conversation going. Um, what is your favorite keyboard shortcut? Or I was thinking maybe three or four, if you want to name not just one. But what keyboard shortcuts did I not cover that are essential to your workflow? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll respond. So we'll keep that conversation going. Give us a like, comment, uh, share, or subscribe while you're at it. And I will say thank you, and see you next time.